Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to search a file for a word in C and C++. And on top of that, we're going to implement a cool command line utility called cfind. Here's a quick demo of the cfind utility we will build. Let me start first with a text file. Notepad demo.txt. I have some text here, so I'm going to paste the text into this file. And then I'm going to save it. cfind, you give it a text like success, for example. And it's going to search for that in the file called demo.txt in this case. So as you can see, we color the word that we're looking for so that it becomes easy to spot inside the file. So let's jump right into Visual Studio to see how we can build this utility. All right, so here I am in Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on File, New Project. Make sure you have Visual C++, select Win32, and click on Console Application. Let's call this cfind. Click OK, and then hit Finish. All right, so today we want to see how we can implement a utility called cfind that will color the matches of a given string. We will allow the user to pass in a text to search for and the file name to search in. So this is how we're going to use it. To begin our app, we need to pass in the arguments from the command line, integer arc c, and then the char pointer argv array. If argc is not three, then we want to tell the user how to use this app. Printf usage, okay, and then we can return an error code here. Let's define two variables to hold the values of these two arguments. So char pointer p string to match equals argv of one, since this is zero based, this is zero, one, two, and then char pointer p file name equals argv of two. I'm going to get the length of the string to match, so I'm going to define a variable integer length equals string length of p string to match. I'm going to have to include standardio.h. I'm also going to have to include string.h. Okay. Next, we want to open the file to read its content. So file pointer fp equals fopen. The file name that we have, p file name, and this is going to be a read mode. So we're going to read the file content. If this fails, then we get back a null. If null is fp, then we have to tell the user something went wrong and I failed to open file percentage s and return another error code here next we want to loop through the file read all its content one character at a time while not f in the file file pointer integer c equals f get c in the file stream get one character from the file stream now we could potentially read the end of file here so if end of file is c we need to break. Next, we want to find the string to match. Let's find string to match. So if, so if C matches the first letter of the word P string to match of zero, then we at least have started looking into something that potentially could be a match of the string. I'm going to define a temporary buffer here of a thousand character. A better way to do this is probably to allocate a buffer of the same length as the original string. But just to simplify the code, I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm going to start collecting all the characters from the file till we hit the length or we hit end of file or we max out at a thousand characters. So do while some condition. I'm going to say word of define an integer index equals zero. Word of index plus plus equals C. C equals F get C of file point. Get the next character. So we continue as long as we're not at the end of file. FP and Index is less than length, and also index is less than 1000. So when we exit here, we should null terminate the word. So word of index equals null termination. Next, we want to do a comparison. If string compare between the word and the word to match, if they're identical, this will return back zero. Notice here I'm doing case sensitive. You can do also case insensitive search. And if the case in the case they are actually the same, next we want to see how we can highlight the word. So in order to do that, we we'll use a Windows API function called set console text attribute. But that requires us to include here a header file include windows.h. I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna come back to my code. Start typing set console text attribute. Notice that this function takes in two parameters. The console output handle, in this case, we're going to say get standard handle std output handle. Next, we want to give it the color we want to use. I played with this a bit, and I think 206 is a nice color. And now, after that, I'm just going to simply say printf percentages 
and print our board here. Notice that once we do this, from this point on, everything else will be printed out in the same color. So I want to go back to the original color before we actually change the color. Instead of hard coding the original color here, what we should do is we should figure out the original color. So let's go back up. Let's define a variable here, integer old color. In order to know the existing, the current console color, we want to use another API called get console buffer info. And this function takes in two parameters. Again, the standard console output handle and a pointer to a structure. So in this case, I'm going to say get std handle, give a standard output handle, and a pointer to a console screen buffer info. I'm going to define a screen buffer info, console screen buffer info equals zero, initialize it to zero. Now I'm going to use this as a parameter here. So let's set this to 15 initially. And if this thing doesn't fail, then we can get the value here that we get back from this function, the W attribute. So this would be our old color. Now that we have the existing console color, we can go back down and change this to the actual color of the console. So if this word was a match, we will show it in a special color. Otherwise, if this was not a match, then we can simply just print it out. So printf percentage as the same word. That's how we find a match. Notice that we're still getting everything else here from file. So we should simply printf everything we get out of the file here. And that's pretty much how we process the file content. At the end, we want to make sure that we close the file we're done with the file, so close it and set this to zero since we're done with it. That's pretty much how we actually search the file. So let's compile and run. Ctrl Shift B to compile. And we're going to notice that we are actually running into some security error here. Because the open file we're using is not safe, we can either use the file open as or define CRT secure no warnings. I'm going to actually, for just simplicity, I'm going to have to include this inside our standard AFX. So right click on standard AFX and open document. And here, I'm just going to hash define this thing CRT secure no warnings. Now let's rebuild the solution. As you can see, now we're successfully compiling the CFind application. I'm going to copy the full location to this. So copy this and then switch back to the command line window r to run the command cmd so let's find some text files dir star.txt so now i have test the text let's type that file and see what's inside it okay so it looks like some sample app let's give it a try i'm gonna copy my cfind.txt here so copy make sure you have it inside quotation marks so now the file is copied cfind look for sl inside my test the text and as you can see now, it's actually highlighting the SL. Let's try something else. Let's try 400 here. As you can see, I'm highlighting 400. And finally, let's try something like the word text. So you can see it's highlighting everything. That's it for this video. If you think this video was useful, please don't forget to like my video. And also, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.